set to go. Racing. Sustain the rage easily. Won the start. Got too much early pace. And sustain the rage through the first mark in a pretty good 508. Red Rock's about three lengths away, turning into the back, trying to keep the leader in his sights. Into the back by the distance boxes now. And Red Rock getting closer. Sustain the rage leads about two and a half or three lengths. Red Rock trying to pick up the middle split, 1881. Sustain the Rage up to the turn. Leads Red Rock getting wide, running on, but Sustain the Rage has got a race winning break. And Sustain the Rage wins match number two. Beats Red Rock, goes all the way, and runs 29 39. Split to 508 and 1881. Sustain the Rage beating Red Rock, three over four, 508, 1881, and 29 39. And the break, in your opinion? Yeah, I thought she did. Yeah, look, looks the way she was going. Um, she, she looked pretty comfortable at it, so, yeah. And where's she now for her? Uh, we'll probably give her a run in the Sapphire. Yeah, I don't know, nine days or so. So, yeah, she's going well, so you've got to do it. Best of luck. Thank you. Brendan Purcell there, trainer of Sustain the Rage. She gets the job done in match number two of event four of the night. She sits a time of 29 and 38. So... At the moment, that is the quickest of this event with a couple of big guns to come up in the next few. So far, so good for Sustain the Rage, Trent. Well, the punters are on the money there, Jason. Identified that the $3 was put up initially when the match race first opened with Red Rock and was $1.90 pretty much for the last five minutes, but that late bet of $5,000 at $1.90. So we mentioned there had been a couple of upsets, but the punters certainly got back there, and considering back from $3 to $1.90, there's a majority of them are pretty happy that sustained the rage, got the start, and was able to hold off in the end over Red Rock. She's got home in